Hello and welcome back to my aquarium. Today I think I'm gonna pick the Pyromancer. We are prestige four here. Got pretty far with the Houndmaster too, but uh, I'm just gonna hop into a run. We do have the third map unlocked because we did finish the second map last time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on there. No new characters unlocked. Hopefully we get a new character unlocked this time so we can play with that next episode. But I also want to get prestige level 10 on the Pyromancer soon enough and then I can get the other weapon because I'd like to see what the other weapon does. Does it change your base attack or does it just do more damage? I'm not quite sure. So I'm interested in seeing that kind of stuff. And new characters and new maps everything. I might die on this one. Let's see. We still need to do five Lords of the Void. I don't know if they'll be a little different on here. So it's like a forest map kind of. We had a valley, we had a cave, now we're like a forest. Which is interesting because usually I feel like the forest map is usually the base, like, first map. And then it's like a desert kind of second, which I guess is kind of the whole thing here, but yeah, I don't know. Still pretty basic maps. Then you gotta have the obligatory ice place, and then you gotta have the obligatory underwater place eventually. Oh, those materials right there, I think that's... Oh no, those are mushrooms. <laughs> I thought those red things were something I can mine. I was like, yo, give me some of that. Speaking of stuff we can mine, though, I should go look around for stuff we can mine. So we need to eliminate 10,000 enemies in total to unlock one of the characters, some guy with a sword. I have to imagine we're getting pretty close to that. Like, we have to be at least, like, 8,000-ish enemies defeated in total, right? Or, actually, I'm surprised that we're not at 10k as of this point. I don't know. It's weird. I'm just kind of thinking about it. I also need to keep defeating elites for one of the extra characters as well. So just like this big guy here. Take him out. Whoop. I guess I could level really quick. I was going to save up till like I had five levels or three levels or something. I'm just going to kill this elite really quick and maybe I can get to level three and then pop my levels. Ooh, probably shouldn't have used that dash there. That was a little risky. There it goes. Now we're only at a four. Now I can just do it. Okay, movement speed by 30% straight off the bat. I do like the other two options here, but I'm going to go for that. Arcane powering, lasting arcane power. Empower you and all nearby allies. Increasing the multicast modifier by 50%. I like the sound of that. So let's get things that really benefit from multicast if we can. Um, I will get some straight up health. And that's so much movement speed. I would like to have the uh, XP multiplier, but oh my god, I'm zooming. <laughs> Oh, look at those little things. Okay, so my multicast is up when that's active, and you can see a little effect on my dude. Here's some ores and stuff, so we need to look for these. And then it'll cast every now and again. So if we can get to a point where we like almost always have uptime on that arcane empowerment, then that would mean we have a shit ton of multicast. So that's something we need to look at doing. Cast frequency would be good for that. Here's another boy here. Oh yeah, the running man. Okay, so there we go. Getting some multicast there. Nice. Yeah, that's going to burn him down. Literally. But just much quicker. That's the XP we need. Okay, cool. Yeah, that seems like a good combo. And then what else do we want to do? I mean, what is this? This is fire, missile, frontal, magic. So... I've done missile. I think I kind of... Did I do like a bunch of fire last time on this guy? No, I was not prioritizing the fire. I was just prioritizing the missiles. So maybe we should prioritize uh, fire a little more this time than just missile. Could be a good idea. Could really... Because I'm just trying to try different abilities, you know, different builds. That's the kind of thing in these games sometimes is you can run through things very quickly. And then it's kind of like doing them again can still be interesting or fun, especially when you're mixing different combinations. But, uh... You know, you're kind of trying to try new things as much as you can. Okay. There he is. Let's uh, spend our levels here really quick. We can get another ability at least. Bloodlust, I know, is really good. We used that in our last run with all of our summons. Nature Bomb, Lasting, Chaos Bomb, Frontal Magic. Are you technically... No, you're Frontal. And no fire on either of these. Chaos Bomb in front of you causing a random amount of damage between 1 and 1, 945. <laughs> And applying a random negative effect. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I wanted more cast frequency. That's huge too. I'm thinking we just get 
this because we already have arcane empowerment and so when we get both of those to cast at the same time it's going to be really good for us if we can get them to sync up at least so we're going to get Inca arcane empowerment here in a second do you know what i mean if we could get a lot of cast frequency and then have both of those casting at the same time and then get really good attacks that work really well with multicast here as we keep going then getting those all just to fly out really, really quickly with extra damage and whatnot will be really good for us. So, that's what I think I'm going to look to do. The interesting thing in these games is always, like, when do you look at your character? Sorry if you hear me kind of sniffling, but my nose is kind of clogged. But, uh, ooh, hello there. You're a big boy. When do you kind of look at your character, and when do you look more at your enemies and what's coming at you? You know, you gotta really figure out where you're gonna keep your eyes on the screen. There's some stuff right under me be careful of. Increase the potency of the buff from the arcane power. I think I would very much like that. Or damage increase. Ooh, damage on a fire of all your skills with type empowering. Yeah, that's huge. Heroic strike, shadow bolt, or arcane disc. I know arcane disc is really good and it works beautifully with multicast, so I actually am gonna go that. Excuse me for one second, I'm gonna kinda of blow my nose here. Okay, pardon me. Let's see. Critical strikes have 50% chance of applying bleed. I would rather just have the multicast, I think. And then... Yeah, give me some armor. Okay, now we're talking. Now these arcane discs are going to pair beautifully. We can walk in there, go get all that XP once we pick the red crystal up. Now we're talking. We need to make them bigger if we can as well. But this is going to be pretty good. I would like to get an ability that can kind of aim itself. Um, at some point here, because that's one of the things I worry about. It's kind of crowd control around me and whatnot. It's good to have abilities you can aim, and we already have two of those. So if I could get the last two abilities, or at least one of the last two abilities, to be something that aims itself a little bit, I think that would be really good. It doesn't necessarily have to be fire. I was going to try to go more of a fire ability build, but I didn't really get those abilities. We could change it out here as we get deeper, but I think I'm good just kind of chilling on what we have and working with it. So we'll see. I like the idea of just like an empowering build being kind of what we're going for here, you know. How much can we get to empower a smaller amount of attacks? Kind of like how with our summoning build it was empowering summons to make them really strong. And then we only had really one, well, two super direct attacks on that build. I have ten levels, holy hell. Um, and then it was just helping our summons, you know, letting them tank and then backing their damage up with our own to really take out the enemies. And that's what I enjoyed about that build so much. I'm going to go ahead and put our abilities in here. So this would mean Poison Bolt in the direction you're aiming at. So that's the direction I'm aiming as well. Poison Bomb and a random enemy dealing... Okay, so this would be a random enemy. Target's hit. Leave a Poison Puddle on the ground. That could be good. The Lasting Area. That has some characteristics of this one. They're both lasting, right? They're all three lasting. So lasting... Passes we could be really good. We'll go with that. I think Doom is amazing, so I am going to go Doom. Every time you apply a stack of burn, 50% chance to applying slow. Okay, I like the idea of that. And here's our last ability, um, unless we switch something out. So I could get another fire ability, or call down a thunder strike to strike a random enemy dealing 675 damage, applying dazed and stun. Or I think since we just got that burn synergy with the slows, maybe we should go meteor. And that is a random enemy as well. So this is what I mean. I have some good aiming direction abilities. There's cast frequency, that's what I want. We'll do, well, do more cast frequency. And then, would I rather have any of these? No. I think I'm gonna rock with what I have. And then, ooh, shoot, these are all good. I'm gonna go cast frequency overall. Let's get some poison. Definitely want spontaneous combustion because we want to burn as much as we can. And then we want some area modifier. And then everything for missiles. So our two missile abilities are going to get much more multicast chance here. Perfect. I think that was an amazing amount of levels there. And I think this is where we're really going to start popping off. Should have a good amount, like a really good amount of direct damage for the next boss. I'll say that much. Uh oh. Got stuck on those enemies there for a second. All right. I'm repositioning my chair here. I don't know what it is. I just, like, sit in the weirdest ways, I swear. So I try to sit 
with a good posture whenever I'm working. If I'm just like relaxing, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix, whatever it is, then I kind of like just slouching around, sitting really weird in my chair, kind of like laying down in my chair. But as soon as I work, I lock my chair in like the upright position and I try to sit up just because I know if I ruin my back at an early age, yeah, it's not going to be good. So I'm trying to be preventative about that kind of stuff and be careful because I really don't need just the worst back in Florida, you know? If we can prevent that, I think that would be a pretty good idea. Look at this multicast. Oh, the multicast is affecting the meteors too, huh? Where's the uh, poison clouds? Oh, there it is. There's one just landed up top, I think. I'm going to throw another one out right now. Oh, that's doing pretty good damage, actually. I think that'll be good for bosses. We can kind of throw it on them, hopefully, if it hits them at least. Speaking of bosses, we're going to get one here very soon. And then that can kind of just get dot effects on them. I think Doom is really good. If we can get any more Doom, uh, I would love to do that. I'm going to dodge up here really quick. I'm kind of slowed by these spiders, honestly. Let's dump some abilities in here. So, Arcane Damage Modifier, but increase the area modifier for everything with area. So that will be our Meteor. That will be our Bloodlust. Why is that area? You and your allies. Okay. We will go that. Arcane Sparks could be good. But I'm going to stay with the abilities we have. I think they're good. Increase the area modifier for Poison Bomb. Yes, please. Increase the area modifier for Poison Bomb even more. So really big Poison Bombs. Give me the Magnetic. Damage increase for Fire Slash. That sounds like a great idea to me. And then some more movement speed. Sounds great. Oh, increase the multicast chance of Fire Slash. Okay, so Fire Slash should be really good now. It's up to level 5. Where is this boss? There he is. Okay, I gotta be careful of this. This is a hard-hitting ability. I'm just gonna stay out of the range of it best I can. Maybe pick up that health there. Okay, I'm kind of stuck. It's okay, we got out of it. Now I'm just gonna aim where the... Uh, <laughs> Where the arrow is here, pointing at this boss. Here comes big ability again. That's like the flamethrower ability. It really burns you fast, so I'm just trying to be careful of that. You can see his arrow is right here. I'm just kind of aiming at it as I run. Because I think my abilities go like across the map. You can see we are doing damage to him. But I wouldn't mind getting a little closer and kind of just... Smacking him up really quick. Purposefully. And then just being a little careful whenever I see he's actually going to throw a big ability out. Burning him pretty good, literally and figuratively. No abilities coming out from him, so I'm schnoozing on being too worried about that. I'm going to wait till the fire effect under his feet where they were there goes away, and then I'll go in and grab this XP. Okay, now we're talking. Six levels there. Would have liked a little more, but it's okay. Yeah, let's group these enemies back up. Hello, boys. Alright. I like this guy right here. He's just stunned. Or dazed, whichever one it is. I'm pretty sure it's stunned. And he just looks like he's taking a quick nap. Me and the boys taking a fat nap in the middle of war. You know how it'd be. Okay, so these fours do kind of respawn, don't they? I like to see that. Yeah, I don't know how people play with spacebar as their dash button. That's like the first thing I changed. Is you, I'll see if you watched the first episode, you will saw that bit. I was like, nah, spacebar is not about to be my dash button. No chance. Not a single chance. It just feels wrong. I don't know. Shift, I guess I'm so used to shift being like a sprint button or a dodge button in games. Especially a sprint button after playing so many FPSs. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm changing this to a shift button. I guess we gotta get really strong, because there are some characters you unlock by finishing a run in 10 minutes. Which I imagine you could go to, like, the first map, after you have, you know, all the meta progression done, and, like, you're on a really good character with crazy abilities or whatever. But right now, I'm like, man, no shot. <laughs> we just hit 10 minutes. I think under 15 minutes is also another one, though, so aiming for that. Ooh! Almost got smacked there. Would be something to aim for as well. Let's keep killing these elites. Like I said, there's some characters you get for killing elites, so I'd like to unlock those. There we go. Big snake, go big dead. Alright. 
Well, I hope that you guys are having a good day. I've had a very good day, actually. I just made a shout-out video for somebody on my main channel that's going to release uh, tomorrow as of uploading this, or as of recording this, yesterday? As of uploading this, I'm pretty sure. Um, been doing pretty good with daily uploads on the second channel, which I'm very happy about. And yeah, I, I love doing the shout-out videos. In my opinion, if you're going to have any kind of audience, you are... You should try to do your best with it to make a positive impact on the world. And even if with a little, you know, few thousand subscribers that I have, I can shout out a channel that maybe only has less than 100, or like this guy only has 100 subscribers. He just hit 100 the other day, which I say only, but that's awesome. I remember hitting my first 100. It's like, it feels amazing. Especially when you do it all on your own, which he has. Um, so it's like, if I can just give him even more of a voice in the slightest... That's something that I'd be honored to do, and I'm going to do. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to use my abilities here just because we have the boss here. Damage increase or poison bomb or cast frequency of arcane power. Cast frequency for arcane power, please. 100% um, chance to deal a critical strike on enemies full health. That's huge. Multicast for disc. That's big, big, big. Area of effect for anything that's lasting. Yes, please. Increase the cast frequency of arcane power. Huge. Area modifier. Yep. Nope. Um, area modifier. Yes. And last two abilities here. Yes, for Bloodlust. And then Fire Slash, even better. Alright. And let's get to this boss. Which boss is this? Okay, so you want to stay close when he does this ability. And just kind of walk around him. That's the, uh, the sauce. That is the sauce. This ability, you just got to kind of Run, run, run away. There's the saw blade, I'm pretty sure. There we go. What do you got next? Saw blade again? I'm learning. I'm learning. Whoop. Trying not to get my cheeks clapped. He's lasering. I'm uh, firing my laser, <laughs> as the kids say. <laughs> you know, as the kids said, uh... <laughs> wait, wait, when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that would ever mean that I really use too much. What is that? Saw blade? Yep. Uh, I'm sure I definitely said it a few times at least. I mean, what year did that meme come out? 2005? 6? I think like, YouTube started around 2005, 6. Ouch. Um, and that meme was like prime early day at YouTube. I'm just getting this health crystal really quick. Only four levels off that. You always think I'm gonna have more there, and then I don't. When I kill the boss and actually pick all that up. Dude, our poison bombs have a very big area of effect. I like to see that. A lot of XP set on the ground here. Let's pick all that up. Oh, hello. Sirs. I think those are the guys that might have slapped my cheekies before. I'm putting more focus on actually killing these elites, so I'd love to actually find those guys and take them out. Hey, found them. I feel like they kind of found me more than I found them a little bit, but you know. Here they be. Alright. Honestly, I wouldn't mind just spinning these points really quick. Uh, Multicast for anything with fire. So meteor and fire slash. Yes, please. Increase anything with arcane. Yeah, that's damage modifier. I will do that because I think the discs are really good. I will take more health. Uh, magic missiles, all that. Area modifier by additional 20% just across the board. Huge. Okay, so these are both... Missile, but this is damage modifier and this is area modifier. I will take damage modifier. Because I feel like, honestly, our damage is a tiny bit lackluster. Well, not even a tiny bit, you know, I just feel like it's lackluster. Like, it's not terrible, but I feel like compared to last time we were on Pyromancer, it might be worse. Not completely sure if that's true, but then again, I don't have as many damaging abilities, you know, the whole point. This time, where's the boss? Okay, so our left was to kind of change it up and... Oh, this is run at me guy. Ouch. I really hate these suicide bombers, these little kamikaze dudes. They suck. All right, I'm just trying to, like, bomb this guy down, to be honest with you. He is slow. He's not really throwing too many attacks. 
Okay. Spoke too soon. He's doing his little Beyblade, let it rip. Okay, under 100k health now. Itching my nose. Top tier commentary. I don't know what it is. I, you know, you just have to itch your nose sometimes when you're gaming. I always call it out. Especially when I'm doing, like, FPS commentary stuff. I'm just like, itching nose? Because then when you do a cool play, like the second you put your hand back on the keyboard after itching your nose, people are like, it's hardcore. And I couldn't agree more. It's pretty hardcore. Alright, 15k health, 13k health. Bada 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 bada. 6, 5, 4, 3. Dead. Oh, I got some red ruby there or something. First one of those I got. Must be pretty rare. Interesting. I'm gonna look around for more of those, honestly. Huh. Any more red rubies? I guess rubies just are red. So maybe I don't really need to specify that, but... Are there non-red rubies? Maybe. I'm not a, uh... What's the, uh... I'm not a paleontologist. An archaeologist? Are those the rock boys? No. Geologist. That's what I'm thinking of. That's the one. But I think there is also more specific people that know about gemstones and whatnot. Like that is their specialty. And I don't know. There's another one right there. I don't know what those people are called. The study of gems, or at least the... Being a knowledgeable about it. They'd be some kind of ologist if it was the study of it, because that's what ologist is meaning. It's the study of ology. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. At least ten brain cells up in there. Okay, there's another little ruby. It's cool. Dude, that just reminded me the uh, effects on that ruby look like this game that I used to play on Xbox. And I used to actually... Oh, actually, all the effects in this game. Just what it looks like, the visual style. Remind me of this game called Keflings. And I used to play it with my cousin, and then I would play it with one of my best friends when I was younger. It was on Xbox 360. And you had this little, like, city. And if you don't know on Xbox 360... I don't know if they still do on, like, con uh, New Day Xbox. You used to have, like, an avatar. You know, and you make them look like you, and you could buy stuff to change their appearance and stuff, what they're wearing, and all that kind of stuff. Your hair, hats, all that stuff. And, uh, your character would be, like, the character you would use in some of those arcade games, including the Kefling game. And then you would go in and you'd have all these little Kefling people, which are just, like, little dudes that kind of just live in this little town, and you would, like, build their town up and stuff. So you could literally pick up buildings and put them down places, and you would build buildings, and then you would combine the buildings to make bigger buildings. So it's like, oh, okay, I need to make a house. So you take... Or I need to make a, a big house. So you take like four small houses, put them in a square with each other, and then make the really big house. I remember loving that game. I was just like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I think there were like special Keflings too. Like there was a princess Kefling and all this stuff. I think that was in a different like DLC or something though, because there was usually just like a mayor in a regular town, but there's also like a dragon and stuff and like a medieval DLC type thing. Oh yeah. Just a flood of memories. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're just, like, confused as heck right now. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you're, like, Pog. Keflings. <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a Pog for Keflings in the chat? But no, it's, it was a Pog game. You can go look it up. It was a fun time. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm gonna get them to run through this poison, honestly. I'm kind of just being chilling in this area a little bit. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. These meteors seem pretty good, and the... If uh, area modifier on them is pretty huge. I'm trying to get level 5 here if I can. Yep. And then I'll spend my levels uh, probably when the boss gets here. And then I'll leave some of this XP on the ground anyways. So that when we kill the boss... Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. We want the XP now because this is the last boss. Yeah. I'll wait till he spawns here in a second. And then I'll... Uh... Oh, no, don't break that... There's an HP crystal down there. I don't want to break it just in case I need to use it when the boss gets here. One more attack. Okay. Area modifier for all everything that has fire, which is our fire slash and our uh, meteors. Multicast or cast frequency. I will take cast frequency, actually. Area modifier for meteor. Meteors are already huge, so I love to see that. Potency of bloodlust. Yes, sir. One more and 
increase critical chance by initial 10%, or increase the damage modifier of everything with physical, which is only these two abilities. Increase the damage modifier for, of all your skills type empowering. I know that one's rare versus legendary, but honestly, that was really only a damage modifier for like our poison thing, and I just don't think that that's that good. Not that I don't think the ability hasn't done some work for us, but overall, I just think this is better. I just put my mouse on my second monitor, I was like, where am I aiming? Where's my cursor? Gone, brother. You cast it away. I would love to get a little closer to him and actually burn him down, but I'm kind of scared of him, too. Here comes a big attack. There we go. Get some good burn here. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I just got boxed in by so many enemies. That was good damage to him, though. Alexi. What a stupid name. Uh, apologies if that is your name. But I did know somebody with that name, and uh, he was a very shitty man. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, be careful of the uh, physical pieces on this map, or any map really, just in the game, because they will really get you stuck. I am just shooting these at him from whatever distance I'm at. Dodge through his attack here. There's the other thing. I kind of hover over my abilities at the bottom. I don't like when I do that. But I feel like there's nothing you can really do about it sometimes. I'm going to spit my ability here just because I have it. Um, yeah, give me damage modifier by 5%. I could really use some damage right now. This is what I mean. Like, I think this build was good. I think maybe only going one. Ouch. One. I'm just shooting down there really quick. See how I just healed? I aimed myself, my cursor, at the uh, healing crystal for a second. And nabbed it up. Okay. Like I just got some frame lag, or I was I maybe I was just slowed. Okay, we're actually hitting him pretty good now. Yeah, I'm just kinda trying to aim at him best I can. I'm gonna level up really quick. Do cast frequency <laughs> even more <laughs> here in these last few seconds. Alexi, can you please die? There you go, thank ya. Eliminate at least four lords of the void in the Whispering Grove in a single match. We did finish this map, so that's awesome. Go ahead and spend our last level there. Oh, look, there's a new character. That's the 100 elite guys I was talking about. Prestige level 5 with the Pyromancer. I think that's a new ability. Maybe it's like a firewall, it looks like. And... Oh, Prestige level 8. Okay, we will get Prestige level 10 at some point soon with the Pyromancer. Because uh, I would love to see what the other staff does. Fire Slash, our base ability, and Arcane Disc. Uh, yeah, see, I was just counting on these two doing a bunch of damage. Poison Bomb and Meteor didn't do bad in the slightest. Uh, and most of my other ones I've had so far, 2 million damage was like the top damage something has done. Fastest victory so far, that's pretty cool. And then a good amount of resources as well, 5 of these things. I'm assuming these are maybe for crafting. But 5 mil damage on the Fire Slash. Yeah, I was kind of just pumping this with the uh, uh, Fire Slash. Complete 100% of the Whispering Grove. That's probably, yep, yeah, next map unlocked. So characters, we unlocked this boy right here, which takes three of the blues. So he's the Spellblade. He has a Slash. Okay. We'll unlock him. And we also unlocked this dude, who's three greens, the Sentinel. Shoot. That's quite the ability name, huh? Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Fires three arrows in the direction you are aiming at. Okay. All right. And we got some abilities there. Just regular abilities from unlocking those guys. All right, well, we'll have to try one of those out next time. Honestly, I don't know who I'd go for here. Oh, look, unique skills. So we just unlocked one of the unique skills for the Pyromancer, Firewall. Since it says unique skills, I'm assuming only he can use this. But I'm not quite sure. That's interesting, though. Okay, let's do skill tree really quick before we get out of here. Uh, I want to pump damage up. Or alternatively, I can save up 50 grand for this. But I think this stuff is more worth it right now just to finish the damage percentage multiplier. Can't quite finish that yet, but that's okay with me. Um, health received from crystals. Cast frequency would be awesome. Pickup range wouldn't be bad, but I don't think you really need it. Area modifier, how much do we have at 18 grand? 
Um, to perform a number of dashes. Ooh, I would love to have that soon. XP modifier, yes please, I can do that once. And let's do cast frequency as much as we can. And I think we're about out here. Gives you a chance to get new skills, yep. Okay, what is this? Critical damage. Okay, block power, sure. All right, and we're poor again, but that was a lot of good stuff. Okay, so next time I think we'll check out this Sentinel. Sounds pretty good to me. And then I guess we'll go, to, yeah, there you go. Classic snow map next. Oh, look, we can see Curse of the Void. So we're heading down right now. All right, well, seems good to me. I will see you next time. We'll do a little bit of the uh, Sentinel on the snow map. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, have a great day. Let the sun lay, lay.